What's up, YouTube? So today I'm going to be talking about these black Badooby roaches. They are one of the main feeders for my bearded dragon. You can use them in uh, other reptiles and amphibians too. And I know some people with tarantulas and stuff that use them as feeders. <clears throat> so I'll just tell you a few things before I start picking them up and messing with them. They have a higher meat to shell ratio compared to most of the invertebrate feeders that you feed your reptiles. They can't climb the uh, smooth surfaces of the bend right here on the sides. They pretty much make no noise, you just hear them crawling around on the 8th grade every now and then, but you have to like really be listening for it. They're not like crickets, they don't chirp or nothing like that. They have a very low smell in their colony. You can uh, stick your face in there and sniff and you won't really smell it too much. Like a dozen crickets will smell the bend by a lot. They also give a live birth, so you don't have to worry about incubating the eggs. The females will lay about 30, have about 30 babies a month. They live up to about two years, so they don't just lay eggs and then die. <coughs> uh, the males have wings, but they can't fly. They just kind of run and hide. Let's see if I can get this little thing. Alright, so this is a baby nymph. He's probably a day old, maybe. You can see he's a little brown, just dull color. Small little guy. Really tiny guy. Let's see, here's another nymph. This is probably about the size I feed my bearded dragon, but you can see how he's like a dull color. special. This is a little bigger nymph. He's uh, looks like he's probably gonna shed pretty soon. So they actually shed and molt, or molt as they get older or get bigger. You can see he's like a brown dull color too. He's not real shiny or anything. He's probably a couple molts away from being an adult. This right here is an adult female. You can see how shiny she is. She almost looks like a nymph, but she's a uh, little black and shiny. She's pretty fat too. Can't really see it, but yeah, she'll probably have babies pretty soon. This guy right here is an adult male. You can see he has wings, but he, he won't really fly or anything. You can tell he's also shiny when they. When they all turn adults, they get pretty shiny. Alright. I'll go show you how I have my bend set up. Alright, so here's where I keep the doobie roaches. On top of my bearded dragon vivariums. For heating, I use a 3 inch 10 watt heat tape. And there's a probe right there. And have the digital thermostat right here. It costs about 30 bucks on eBay. So what you do is you set the temperature to 108 and you'll keep the power on until the probe hits 108. And when it hits 108, you'll turn the power off to the heat tape and then drop down to 106 on the probe. Then when it hits 106, it'll turn the power back on until it reaches 108 and it'll turn it off. Just that. And the heat tape, I hooked it up with the extension cord. Then I just cut the end off and used the little clips they gave you. And I hooked it onto the heat tape over there. And that's the temperature inside the bin right above the heat tape. This is about 96 degrees, and I have another temp uh, digital thermometer with the probe on top of the egg crate in another bin that always reads about 80 to 82 degrees. 
<coughs> so here's the other bin that I pulled off. It's a 66 quart Sterilite container from Target. And the lid, you can see I just cut a hole in there and put some, uh, some window screening on. And I just hot glue, put a bead of hot glue all the way around to the sides. Right. Inside the bins you can see. I just have a little dish right there with the uh, water crystals. and Whenever I have oranges I just cut them in half, throw one in here and throw one in the other one. And there's the dry fruit, I use uh, Cricut Crack. Good stuff. And the egg crates, I stacked them vertically so all the poop and frass will fall down to the bottom of the bin. So you can see they're all in there, they're just hiding. Pretty much all they do is just hide. You notice that outside of the bin is black too. I use this stuff right here. Just to spray paint the outside of the bin black so uh, no light will get in. Here's the uh, food I use, Cricut Crack. It's a gut load and food for your feeders. Good stuff. I'll put the link in the uh, video description. Here's a dry form of water crystals. About 40 ounces, I think. I bought them on eBay a while ago. And where the bottom of my thumb is, that's about how much I put in this water bottle. And just poured water in there and that's how much it expanded. And I poured some out too. Poured some in here and poured some in the other bin. So yeah, that's much. So yeah, that's my Dubia video. I hope this helps you guys. Uh, sorry for the coffee too, I've been fighting off a cold. Alright, so here's Crush, he's gonna eat some dubious. So, he's in shed pretty good right now, so might look kinda goofy. Okay, go there. Alright, let's just focus this. Yeah. <laughs> Give him some exercise while he's eating. second see if he catches that other one. I don't think he sees it. Nope. <laughs> yeah, this guy really loves his dubios though. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Bye.